Hey guys, Sean here with Cabin River Outdoors. I have to decide if I'm going to stick around at this property through February and March. I also go and stay at a trapper cabin way up river. So I'm going to be driving up some different forest service roads and uh, the access is, is a little easier but it's still a very remote cabin. Uh, probably no one's been there all winter. Yeah, let's go for a ride. We're going to spend a night in an old trapper cabin. Uh, I'm going to cook some stuff make a nice fire jump on for this ride it's gonna be fun I just bought this uh, GoPro 12 so hopefully the new videos are not as shaky um, there it is and I gotta figure out this thing I bought this as well some sort of selfie stick but it works as a tripod too like that one and then I've also got this thing too, the adventure kit. And it comes with that and that and that. So here's hoping for less shaky videos moving forward. Okay, cool. First time ever using a selfie stick. Amazing. Well, I've been walking about 20 minutes now. Not super far, but must be close. A little closer, I was wrong. I wasn't almost there. That was a half an hour ago. I think now I'm almost there. Might be loud and obnoxious. It'll do for now. Oh, and then it turned off. Okay, that's nice.
Broccoli's good. Uh, some of that cauliflower is good. That one's good. Okay, maybe they're mostly good. My bad. Mostly good. Well, I figure I'll give it a go one more time. Packing light. I have some hip waders. I have this new camera. I can hold it out here on the stick and walk at the same time. It's absolutely amazing out right now. A uh, couple degrees below freezing. Got some snowshoes. I have some hip waders, I'll put them on. I'll try the rev route. I'm not gonna put myself in a dangerous position. It's just hard to believe that the water is high for winter. It's just an odd winter. One day I'll do a grand, as I've mentioned before, I'll do a grand big log home or something of that nature. But for now I need a couple of structures built. Simple, easiest means possible. I don't care if it looks good for YouTube or not, I just gotta get something done. Wow, some wolf tracks. 
These are fresh. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at these. Pretty big. Not huge, not huge for a wolf, but there's my, that's a steel toe boot. And then I just took a hard left right here and bounced into there. Anyway, like I say, I'm not worried of those guys. They're fine. Curious to see how the footage turns out on this GoPro thingy. I don't know. Apparently it's not so shaky. <clears throat> Canada. All the space. No one for Egon's. Yeah, good luck trying to find a, a normally priced anything to rent now. It's just, I kind of don't have a choice. I missed out. I was an idiot. I didn't buy anything 10 years ago. That's okay, because it led me to this. I don't mind this, but when you can't get there, it's also a problem. Three more kilometers of this. And I'm thankful for the snowshoes. A moose was here doing its thing. Chewing away. Not well, so much for staying dry. I got it a little bit. Been a mild winter. Nothing's really freezing up. Getting close again. It looks to me, I do believe, the water has went down. That'll make it easy to cross the river, but can't be sure. I can just barely see the cabin. The water has come down. Chest waders on. Here goes nothing. Those can stay here. This for sure is shallow. I'm thinking it's frozen completely. Like there's just gravel below this ice. It's just so hard to tell. The gravel bar is right there. I'm gonna break through here in a second. I'd be surprised if I didn't. It's only about uh, a foot or two. Here's the water, water. That whole thing is only a foot, but you'd never know. It's just so insanely hard to tell. A deep sort of vein there, it drops off. It's a little too deep. But here there's, like I say, there's just gravel all underneath this. I gotta go up and then cross over that way. Oh yeah, basically you just gotta... It's a little unnerving walking on the ice. Sure, it should get up to my waist, I think. Roughly. Before the current gets a little bit iffy. I guess I gotta break through this ice. I don't really... just wanna be super duper careful. Other option is to go. I don't want to just start walking on this ice and it's gonna break through. Oh, 
these are stuff. Oh my goodness. It's probably gonna break. <sighs> Can't believe that thing gonna break. I'm go up this way, the shallower it gets. I'm gonna break through at some point here though. It's a little scary, but I know, I know, I know logically, <coughs> logically, because I walked through this last summer. I'll have to get, I'll have to kind of break through here any second. Why the heck isn't this right? So far the deepest it's been is my knees. Uh, hard to say how deep this is. I know it's shallow, but I still just cannot tell. You know, you know maybe I could have crossed last time after all. I have my little spot where I'm going up in the, uh, I was parking the boat right about here on the gravel. It still is hard to believe that it's higher than it was in the summer, which makes absolutely no sense. It's supposed to be like nothing. Yeah, what a deceiving thing. I'm glad to see that the river did come down a bunch though. That wasn't so bad. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. This bank is really wet. It's muddy even. So yeah, the water was definitely up higher at some point, but the ice came down with it. What do we got here? Man, this is awesome. I get to spend a night at this thing. Okay. Pretty excited about that. Tracks of some sort. Lots of nice birch in there. Well, there's the start of the new cabin. I coated the hell out of that, that floor. I left the floor system. I, left the, I only put this about halfway on the log deck extension. Save using some uh, ledger or Sort of a natural ledger, but I don't have to install any joist hangers or anything like that. I'm shocked. I cannot believe that damn thing held up. I think most winters <laughs> it looks like it wants to buckle. How about that? Yeah, and the thing uh, somebody mentioned in the comments about putting a lock on the door. You don't have to worry about people coming up here. And if they want in and if it's a survival situation, you want them to be able to access it. Anyone who's gonna go out of their trouble, they're out of the out of the way to come all the way up here. They it might be a survival situation. Leave the door unlocked. <clears throat> Look at this, the hodgepodge made it unbelievable. Come snowfall, the snow will probably cave it in. How oh, I can <laughs> this is hilarious. There's there's a lot of weight up there because it's like frozen snow. It's because it, we had all that thaw. It was cold and thaw and cold and thaw. <laughs> As if it held up. It's like, it looks like it wants to take this thing down. I was okay if it was going to take this down. But I'm going to have a nice, awesome fire right there. That'll be exciting. I'm happy this thing made it. That is hard to believe. If it was a regular snow year and we got, yeah, three or four times amount of snow, yeah, that would not have made it as if that made it. I love those. I love that I made this. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that fire roaring. I didn't get one going inside. Everything I hung up and it's just exactly the way it was. Okay, how about that? No snow on the deck even. This is brilliant. I couldn't be happier about this. Holy cow. I put a stove in uh, last October. I didn't get it on film. 
Oh, the uh, this, this door never used to stick, but I guess whatever's happened with the weather and everything and maybe some uh, settling. I just threw the these patio stones down. So I'm, I'm not doing any ground compaction or anything. It's just right on the soil. I, I dug it out a bit there. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> now it sticks, okay, perfect. Not too often do you get all this neatness in one location. That's called nature. Oh, I, I never expected the door to give me a hard time after all this. I put this little stove in October, didn't have a chance to record it, but this is a temporary uh, tinfoil band-aid for now. You don't need much heat. This thing is fully insulated. Could a hair dryer would heat this thing up, but uh, all this, these chainsaws and stuff, I gotta get them out. Still recording, Danny. My friend gave me some deer sausage and uh, some other stuff, and I'm very hungry. I'm looking forward to eating. Here's some cooked chicken that I had left over from the trapper cabin. That's pretty damn good. And some uh, deer back straps times four. smell unbelievable. The cabin is just, it's so tiny but it's amazing. Never appreciated. Well this is funny because I left, those are from Walmart, those solar lights. I left them there, I forgot about them in the fall and they're still doing their thing. It's an awesome evening, it's about Supposed to go down to minus 13 Celsius. Right now it is about negative one and a half degrees Celsius. 30 Fahrenheit. You go in here. It's just blissful. I just allow very minimal air it'll burn for hours and hours I've hardly used any wood it's been going for about four hours now instead of using the barbecue I'm getting hungry again those deer back straps are looking mighty good right now sure would be nice to get that second cabin built it's funny because I went so tall on the wall there I'm gonna add on to this thing I'll make this twice the size one day. First, the other cabin.
still not sure if I'm going to stick around. I know it's going to be a heck of a, a lot of work. I'm not sure. Part of me wants to, if I have the option, I can go back work somewhere, make money. Potentially still keep making little cabin river outdoor videos. I'm not beholden to anything. I'm not tied down. <clears throat> One of the joys of, of uh, embracing the single life, except for the uh, extreme loneliness. <clears throat> it's a trade-off. Uh, what to do? Well, we'll find out.